Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom and I have another fun cat card to share with you today. Hey, so I'm using Jada Blossom's Card Layer Dies version B, Card Layer Dies Dies 2, Meow and Forever Stamp Set, and our Scallop Circle and Stitch Circle Dies. I'm also using the Bella Boulevard Chloe paper pad along with this adorable Bella, Bella Pop called Cat in a Box. And I'm using Bella uh, Boulevard's freehand graph dot. So first I went ahead and I cut out the scalloped circle die. Um, it's three inches. And I cut it out of white, um, I believe it was paper tray and cardstock. And then I cut it out of this fun pattern, this uh, fun orange pattern from that Chloe pad. There we go. And I'm just gonna weight it down. I'm just, you know, adding some thickness. This paper was also um, from that same Chloe pad and it was cut at two and a half inches with the uh, stitch circle die. And I cut it out twice, once out of paper tray ink and once out of the pattern. Now I'm going to use this neat little flag, fishtailed end kind of tag looking piece that was cut from the card layer dies. There we go. And then I cut out a border, a quarter of an inch larger. And I literally just did it freehand. And I used a gray um, paper, that freehand graph dot, the dot side. Now I'm going to add in some border paper from that same Chloe pad from Bella Boulevard to the inside. And I just cut out a few of the, you know, different borders together just to make it a little bit thicker. Now this piece is from that um, card layer dies again. I think that's card layer dies one version B, I, I think anyway. And I cut it out of that little paw print paper from that same um, Bella Boulevard Chloe pad. And then you'll see what I'm going to do here. So first I will assemble the circle and the scalloped circle. Just trying to make sure the patterns are straight. It says kitty cat all over that blue pattern, which is kind of fun. There we go. And then I'm going to stick that down, but first I'm going to do a little trick. And you can see what I'm going to do here. Now I'm working on an A2 size card base cut at 4.25 by 11, scored at five and a half inches from Paper Trank White Cardstock. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this little tag. There we go. I'm going to stick the top down. No one will know, will know. it'll be hidden. I'm going to stick that down right on the seam, right on the carved fold. Then I'm going to pop my super cute little circle to cover it up. And it'll make it look like this tag runs right through both sides of that circle. But only you and I know that I've spread it a little bit, right? And there we go. Using my ATG tape. And now I'm going to stick down this little circle. There we go. Kind of fun, right? I think it turned out super cute. Now I'm pulling out some yellow dot paper from that uh, Bella Boulevard freehand graph dot, obviously the dot side. And I'm stamping with my Misty using VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink. And I'm stamping the sentiment, congratulations on your new fur baby. So it's like a welcome your, you know, welcome to the new kitty cat card. There we go. Kind of fun, right? And I'm using um, our mini tags dies three. I'm gonna use those fish tailed tags. And I'm gonna cut this, you know, cut it out with a smaller one. And then I will cut out a larger one out of that little black and gray paw paper again. There we go. I'm gonna run that through my Gemini machine. I like to tape it in place with some washi when it runs through. You just don't want it to move once you've already done your stamping. Now I'm going to cut it out or in, in some paper trank white cardstock again. I'm just trying to give, you know, you know, give my tag some layers, right? My sentiment. And I did the same thing with the larger piece. So I'm going, going to take my art glitter glue and I'll stick down the little black pattern kitty pop piece there. There we go with some art glitter glue. And I will weight that down just so it can dry flat. And then I'll do the same thing with this yellow tag from the mini tag dies three. There we go. And I'm going to weight it down as well. 
Now I'm pulling out this little Bella Pops cat. It's called Cat in a Box BB2279 is the number. It is sticky on the back, but I do add a little bit of glue just in case. And I'm taking my reverse tweezers and I'm going to stick that down at the bottom of the circle. Isn't that cute? I just think he's adorable. And I'm going to use the little tiny hearts on this embellishment as well. Just grabbing it with a pen blade. And I'm going to add a little bit of glue to the back and you'll see I dropped it anyway. That's okay. Now I'll pick it up with my reverse tweezers. And I'm just trying to figure out where my little hearts are going to end up. There we go. And I just think this is super cute. You gotta love these little pops that these um, companies are coming out with. Obviously Doodle Pops, you know, from Doodle Bug are awesome. Bella Pops are super cute. And they make for a really fast card when you use them with Jada Blossom sentiments and their die cuts, right? Like how fast was this? There we go. I'm just trying to figure out where that sentiment's gonna go. And of course, I completely forgot to put my shadow layer on. But this is what I do, people. I forget things. Now I'm using Stampin' Up Dimensionals on the back. And I'm just pulling off the release paper. And first I stick it on my card because I completely forgot, right? Because this is what I do. And then it'll hit me in a second here. Of course, I will trim it off first because, you know, this is what happens when you're not paying attention. Okay, then I decided I'm going to add this little leftover piece to the inside just for a little decorative touch, right? Why not? Added it with some art glitter glue. And then I realized, crap, I forgot to put it on my little shadow layer. So I'm going to stick that down first. There we go. And then I'm going to stick it all down with some... ETG tape there. And I'm just going to hang that off the end and I will trim off the overhang with a pair of scissors, right? There we go. Because we can fix our mistakes, no one's gonna know, right? And I'm going to, I quickly rip up the other little tag that I put down because I thought I'm gonna layer both of them because why not, right? You have them, they're gonna end up in the garbage. They kind of look cute, why not? make them work on the inside of your card. There we go. And there you have it. So I just think this turned out super cute. And I'm going to add a little sentiment to the inside of this card from the stamp set Meow and Forever. There we go. And I'm just going to stamp Meow and of course, I think I'm going to use my Misty, but things are too thick. So I just flipped my Misty over just so I have a cushioned background and I will just stamp it freehand with, with an acrylic block and VersaFriend Claire Nocturne ink. And there you go, a little meow. How cute is that? And now I'm going to add a few little yellow hearts from Bella Boulevard's epoxy, um, what are they called? Epoxy hearts, yeah. So I'm gonna add three yellow ones trying to decide where they're gonna go. And there we go. So super cute stuff. And I decide to add a little piece of this black paw paper because you know, I cut the whole sheet out using that card layer dies one version B, I think it's called. So anyway, that's all. So thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog, Be Inspired, the Jada Blossom store to get your hands on these amazing products. And thank you as always for watching my videos. I appreciate it. And hopefully we will see you soon in my next one. Bye everyone.